Hi, my name is Dr. Evan Matthews. I'm here at Montclair State University in the Exercise Science Lab to show you how to do the second part of the calibration for this VMAX Encore Metabolic Cart System. All right, so we did the first part of the calibration, which is the flow calibration, in another video. So if you haven't watched that, please go back and watch that first because you can't do this part accurately unless you've already done that part. So make sure that you do the flow calibration for first. This is going to be the gas calibration. So to do the gas calibration, we're going to come up here. We're going to click on Calibrate O2 and CO2. And we're going to see this dialog box come up. So we can look at the top here and see some white text with the blue background. That is um, some of the instructions of what's necessary to run the system. That's what the software gives you. So what you want to do is make sure that you have the gas tanks on this side of the machine turned on. So there's three tanks back there. You want to turn the two on that are on the left side of the machine when you're facing the machine, not the one that's on the right side of the machine when you're facing the machine. All right, so when you're turning the tanks on, all right, so there's a little knob back there. You turn them all the way to the left until you feel a little bit of resistance and you stop. All right, you don't want to crank them down hard because if you crank them down hard, you're going to strip the screws. So usually what I do is I turn them all the way to the left and then I just do a little quarter turn to the right just to make sure I don't have it screwed in too tight. All right, so once you have that, we can start connecting the tubing here. So we need to connect one of these two tubes from this mouthpiece into this port right here. All right, so you're going to know which one is the correct one just by trial and error. All right, so if you take them both, give them a little twist and just kind of pull out. All right, so it's just, uh, it's just in there with friction. There's no screws or anything in there, so it's just a twist and pull. All right, so if I take this one here and I try to put it into this port, it goes into the port. But if I give a little tug there, it doesn't take much to take for it to fall out because it's not big enough to fit snugly. So this is not the right one. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back up in the port, um, in the mouthpiece where it was originally. All right, so this one then must be the right one. So if I go and put it in, it's going to fit in there. And if I try to give it a little light tug, it's not going to come out. It's in there nice and snug. All right, so that's exactly what you want. All right, so that's in there. The gas tanks in the back are turned on. So we're going to go ahead and start the calibration. So we're going to hit F1 here, um, or this button that says F1, to initiate the calibration process. All right, so unlike the flow calibration where there was a lot of manual work that we had to do, we were pushing the syringe back and forth, we were going at different rates, there's a lot of ways that you can mess up the calibration. The gas calibration, the system's really doing everything. As long as you have everything connected properly and the gas tank's on, it really should do everything on its own. All right, so you're going to see some numbers here that are going to start to change a little bit. So these two numbers, the O2 and the CO2, and eventually you're going to see on these two graphs here, some blue lines start to show up. All right, so once those blue lines start to show up, that's it, the system actually measuring what it needs to measure in order to do the calibration. All right, so you're going to see three levels of lines for both O2 and CO2. You're going to see first the room air, then you're going to see um, a tank that has, I believe it's high oxygen, low CO2, and then low oxygen, high CO2. But regardless, you're going to see some fluctuation in those levels that take place here. All right, so here we had the room air, then we had the first tank and the second tank. And you see the same thing over here, room air, first tank, second tank. All right, so when this is done calibrating, you're going to see a little um, green sign pop up there that says calibration complete. That's when you know that everything went appropriately. Once you're done with the calibration here, you're going to go in, look, and see which one of these buttons are going to allow you to store it. All right, so it's this one here. It says F3, so exit and begin test. That's what you're going to want. All right, so you hit that, and you're back to the original screen. So before you do anything else, make sure that you go back here and that you turn those gas tanks off. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick now. All right, so when you turn those gas tanks off, finger tight, very light finger tight, I should say, you don't want to really crank it in there. Again, you don't want to strip those screws. Um, you also want to make sure that you always turn those off. All right? It's very, very critical that you turn those off because those tanks will continually pump out little bits of air at a time. And after a few days of it being on unnecessarily, it will um, begin to uh, run low or completely run out of gas. When that happens, you're not going to be able to calibrate the system the next time without buying new tanks. And those tanks are pretty expensive. So make sure that you always turn those tanks off. I can't say that enough. 
All right, so at this point, tanks were off, calibration of both the flow and the gas calibration went well. Um, so now you could go into the system, plug in your um, participant information, and actually run a test. All right, so I hope that was very helpful for you, and if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to put them in the comments below, and I'll try to remember to uh, get on here and answer those questions for you, or you can email me or talk to me directly. Um, all right, so again, hope that helps, and come back and watch one of the other videos um, for new information on how to do things in the exercise science lab.